What's up planner babes? It's your girl Cam and I'm back with another video. Today I'm coming at you with a Hobonichi haul. What? Say what? Yes, I bit the Hobonichi bullet. I got on the Hobonichi train. What is it? <laughs> I got on the Hobonichi bandwagon. Which one is it? Um, so I want to share with you my brand new Strawberry Latte Hobonichi Weeks Mega. I'm trying to learn all the terminology. Yes, I've been watching so many um, Hobonichi spreads on Instagram and so many Hobonichi Plan With Me videos here on YouTube. And I just got caught up, y'all. I got caught up in the hype. And I have to say, it's it's cute. I've already started playing around with it, and it is very, very cute. So if this is your first time visiting my channel, I love all things planners, okay? I love all the planner things. I love all the planners, all the stickers, all the accessories, and you are welcome to join in on the fun here on this channel. So I hope that you do find some inspiration here and that you will consider hitting that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you won't miss any videos I have coming up for you in the next few weeks. If you're already a part of the fam, you know how it goes down over here. We love all the planners and all the planner things, so welcome back. <laughs> if you want to see my new Hobonichi Weeks Mega in Strawberry Latte and some accessories and stickers I have for it, just stick around. All right, Planner Babes, so where should we start? Let's start with the actual Hobonichi. Okay, so this is the Hobonichi Weeks Mega um, in Strawberry Latte, and it did come out in, uh, it's dated to start in January of 2019. And as you well know, it is August of 2019 and I'm just now getting mine. So I do not care about the dates. I am going to go in and redate this to start in, um, I think I may start the monthly part in June and then the weekly part I will, I have already started in July. Okay, so what makes it mega is this huge notes section in the back. Like this much of it is notes. I hope you can see that. This much is notes. And this part is the actual, the front part is the actual planner. Okay, so um, I am going to redate it. I don't care what the dates say. I've already put a little sticker up front that says blissful in, um, it's not quite rose gold, but it's a, like a, a darker gold foil. And you've got your 2019, 2018, and 2020 up here in the front. I'm going to get the little stickers to cover the months from, uh, I think I'm gonna choose the one from Lexi Kylie. I haven't ordered them yet though, so I'm not really sure about that, but I am gonna decorate this front section, and I have already ordered some printable kits to go in. This is like a perpetual calendar here first, and then you go right into your months, and all the months are up front um, in the very front of the planner. So I already have some printable stickers that I need to print out and uh, set these months up, and I, like I said, I'm gonna start with, I think, June. And I'm just going to cover everything up so it won't matter what these dates actually say. I'm just going to cover everything up and use it to suit my purposes. Okay, so all the months are up front. And I think you've got about 14 or 15 months here. So I can certainly, if I can pay attention to this planner long enough, <laughs> I can take this planner all the way through 
to next year. Okay, so all of these are monthly view sections. All of these in the front. So I'm going to decorate those. And then I've already started playing with the very first week, just to kind of get a little practice. This is the week of July 4th. And so I just used some stickers I had on hand. I used some stickers. I don't even think this shop is still open, but it was um, Paper Princess Plans. Um, she used to have a shop. I don't know if it's still open or not, but she used to have a shop, and I bought some stickers from her, and I'm glad I did because they're super cute. And this one is from um, Fox and Pip, the little date night sticker for the 4th of July. And then I just grabbed some other mini stickers from the, from some freebie sheets, and then I did. I went back and looked up the weather for that week, and I documented that. And then in one of my American Craft sticker books, I put this sticker that says Count the Stars in gold foil. And I used one of the Feathers of Style girls on the side and wrote a quote from Nelson Mandela, There's no such thing as part freedom. I love that thing. Get it, babe. So yeah, so I've started playing around in this already, and I'm just covering everything up all the dates and just starting and just starting where it's good for me okay so then I'm gonna just keep going and I'm gonna cover up all these little month situations on the side and I'm thinking about in the back section where we have the notes there is a section here that has a little table of contents and I'm thinking about using this for maybe two or three different reasons I would love to art journal in here because the paper is very nice. I've heard people say the paper was really thin, and I mean it is, but it's not It's not super, super, um, I mean there's nothing wrong with the paper. I actually like it. Um, I don't think it's quite like Bible paper. I've heard people refer to it as Bible paper, but I'm not sure if it's, I don't know if this is even as thin as Bible paper. But yeah, it's pretty thin. And um, I do have a pen. I'm going to show you what pen I'm going to use in here as well that doesn't bleed very much at all. But okay, so I'm, I'm going to use this section, I think, for art journaling, maybe gratitude, maybe some wellness journaling in here. Um, yeah, so there's lots that you can do with all of this. I don't want to just take notes in here. I want this to be something creative. So I'm thinking I might watch some art journal videos and get some ideas from that and maybe draw and use stickers and quotes and clips from magazines and just things that make me think or that make me happy or that evoke some type of um, emotion for me to keep in this section because that's a lot of pages to work with and then to keep that with your planner I think that would be really cool okay so this is the Hobonichi Weeks the thing that makes it mega is that huge note section in the back and it's very small. I mean, this is my hand, and it's about the same size as my hand. So, I mean, it is small, but um, I had fun working in this, and I think it's really cute. So, that's the planner itself. And then I did order a jelly cover to go with it, and I've already <laughs> taken it apart because it had this... It had a pink band on it with a bat hanging off of it, and you know, I, I may use the bat maybe around Halloween time, but I wasn't interested in keeping that on right now. So this came from the Honey Bee Shop. Um, I have a haul video where I showed some stickers that I ordered from her, and I also ordered this jelly cover at the same time. So it's super cute. It's clear, and it has the hollow um, stars um, and little deco on it. So I'm going to put that on my Hobonichi, and I also have some Micron pens that I got from Amazon that I think, oh, by the way, I did buy this from Amazon, and I think I may have purchased the last one, Ooh, the last one in this color, the last one in the strawberry latte, because when I went back a day or two later, it said that they were out of stock, and they did not know when they were going to restock it, or, it, or if they were going to, so... Yeah, I think I got the last pink one, but there are lots of other colors on there. There's a white, there's a black, there's a red. I think there's a buffalo plaid one or a plaid one. There might be a denim one. So yeah, they're different colors. So I got the Micron pins because um, I have heard that Micron and felt tip pins work well in the Hobonichi. So I'm going to work with this. And you know, I have my um, pen and gear personal size traveler's notebook and I'm going to set this Hobonichi up in here 
in just a second. So that's where this is going to be living. And I do have this super cute Fox and Pip holographic bow on there. Can you see that? That is so cute. And so instead of putting a dangle on here, I'm going to let this be my front cover deco. Okay, so that's the cover that's going to be. And this, by the way, was like $7 at Walmart. So I mean, a really, really good deal. All right, and last for my Hobonichi um, situation, I bought some stickers from Frank Hearts You on Etsy. So I was looking around at the Hobonichi um, madness <laughs> on Instagram, and I saw one of the planner babes had this little cart or a similar one to this one in her Hobonichi. Y'all, this thing is cute. And it has the holographic foil on it. Oh my goodness. And this is actually a mini kit from Frank Hart's You. Let me open it. Because I haven't even opened it yet. I've just been looking at it <laughs> through the uh, cello bag. So this is a mini kit. And everything is just so small in the Hobonichi. It's a vertical layout. And it's just mini, mini, mini. So this one comes with the date covers, the little washi strips, some half boxes, oh this is so cute, the little heart checklist, um, some habit trackers, and then this amazing craft cart, like the Razcog cart or the Michaels cart, who else sells the cart, I'm sure other people do, but this would fit that, um, let me show you what page it fits in the Hobonichi. So you have one page that has the calendar side on it, okay? And then you have this blank page over here that you can set up any way you would like. So this sticker fits in this page. Come on now, you know that's cute. <laughs> it was so cute to me that I bought almost all the color variations of it. I didn't buy all of them because you know, the way my money is set up, I couldn't get them all. But I got several of them because they're just cute. Okay, so this one is the like a mint green color and it says crafty in the hollow foil. Then this one is the color peony and it has all the little checklists and the days of the week and your little sidebar and your washi. And this is in that pink peony color. Then I got one in rose, which is a paler pink, and it says plans in the holographic foil. You got the hollow and the little hearts on there. Hope you can see that. And then I got it in violet, and then I got two unicorn versions. Now, one of these I'm going to turn into a bookmark, and I saw someone do that on Instagram, and I'm going to have to watch her um, little video of it again so I can figure out how she did it but once I figure it out I'm gonna make one because it is too cute so yeah I got one two three four five six of these and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use these back to back in the hobo but I'm gonna spread them out and then again one of them is going to be a um, bookmark and I actually could use this probably in my happy Nietzsche let's see if it would fit in there I think this would fit in the happy Nietzsche as well yeah it fits in there definitely. So I could take one and put it in here. I just grabbed a bunch because I didn't know how long they were gonna be in the shop, if they were gonna stop selling them, and yeah, they're just cute, so. Oh, and then it also came with this cute little freebie. Another cart that has my initial on it. The K for Cam, okay, girl? So cute, and this is just a sticker that I can put um, in my Hobonichi somewhere. So cute. So thank you, Frank Hart, to you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set this Hobonichi up and, and then I'll be ready to rock it. The first thing I'm going to do is put this cute little um, die cut from Indian Ivy Ink on the cover. And I've just put some washi tape on the back because I want to be able to pull this up and use it again later in another setup. So I'm just going to put it here. 
And then I'm going to put this inside the jelly cover. And I've already tried this once before and it's a tight fit, but it does fit in there. I just wanted to make sure it was gonna work. So it slides right in there. And that is so cute. Now I'm gonna keep this um, Hobonichi on this string in the back. And I have enough room to uh, keep a notebook in here, but I'm not going to because I've got that huge notebook in the back of this planner already. So I'm just gonna take the back part of this planner, open it up, and then just slide it right onto this last string. And it is a little snug fit and it's kind of pulling that um, jelly cover down, but I want it on the strings, so um, that's how I'm gonna keep it. And I, and I know it's not gonna fit into this back pocket because the jelly cover is too big, so I have to keep it on the strings. And I've got four strings here to work with, so if this one pops, I got three more to work with. <laughs> okay, so let's set this side up. So I've got this cute little card that says, Hey Girl, on it with some washi tape and a few little gold foil stickers. And this just reminded me of like candy or something. That's why I chose this. It's so cute. So I'm going to put this in this side pocket. And then I have this, um, I think this is my newest addiction, um, little bow die cut. So I'm going to put this in the pocket right here. I'm just going to slide it down in there and let that kind of stick out. And I want a little dangle to put here, like a little dangle clip, um, paper clip, but I don't have one yet. So I'm just going to leave that area empty for now. And then I have this cute little card that I made from a sticker, um, a little unicorn girl sticker and a sticker that says love from an American craft sticker book. And it says unicorn love. So cute. And I found this um, adhesive pocket in my stash. So I just put that on the front. I don't even know where these pockets came from, but um, I found them in my stash and I just put that right on front. And then I'm just gonna slide that little unicorn card right in there. And that's gonna be my setup for now until I find a little dangle to go on there. So I'm excited to start using this Hobonichi Weeks and I just think this planner is super cute. It's so tiny, but I think it has so much potential. So I'm really going to enjoy using this. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, Planner Babes. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you're not already a part of the Peace of the Plans fam, I hope you'll take a moment and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you won't miss any videos I have coming up for you in the next few weeks. If you're already a part of the fam, thank you so much for coming back. I hope you all have a great week, Planner Babes. I hope it's full of love, joy, and most of all, peace. I'll see you next time.